Right now, the only survivor in Saturday night's fatal train crash in Plant City is in surgery at this hour. The family of 23 year old Guillermo Gama telling ABC Action News tonight that they are staying positive and they are praying that he pulls through. Yeah, according to the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, Jose Hernandez, his family, Gama and 17 year old Jacob Lopez were on their way to a birthday party when a train crashed into them at US 92 and Jim Leffler Circle. And now that community is one wondering what, if anything, could have been done to prevent this tragedy. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton today spending the day getting answers. Three Plant City families are in pain. They're going through a lot. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office say Jose Hernandez, his family, and two family friends, 17-year-old Jacob Lopez and 23-year-old William Gamma, were on their way to a Sweet 16 party at US 92 and Jim Leffler Circle around 7 Saturday night. And just as Jose drove his SUV over the track, a train slammed into them, flipping several times. Six of the seven people inside died. And Gamma is in the hospital right now, fighting for his life. This is a tough moment. It is. It definitely is. Um, but I know that he has a good support system behind him. He has a whole community that's cheering him on. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, crashes like this are common. We looked into the numbers, and so far this year across the nation, there's been 998 traffic accidents involving trains. Of those, 111 were fatal. Here in Florida, there's been 56, and nine of them fatal. And the big question people are asking, where are the warning signs, like the crossing arms, the flashing red lights, the bells? There is a stop sign up, though. We took your questions to Michael Callanan, a rail safety expert and former conductor. This is a private rail crossing. It's not maintained by the city, state, or county. Therefore, they're not required to put the warning devices there. And there are several crossings like this one on this road. I found three with warning arms and lights. Callanan says those would have been helpful Saturday. Had those devices been there, probably would have saved these people's lives. The CSX is responsible for the track, and we reached out for comment and waiting to hear back. And J.J. Burton, ABC, Action News.